Reporting from the Q Television Center with news from your region. We are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally, and nationally. This is Q TV News. With your latest Q Lifestyle News update, I'm Bob Huggins. A son of IRA murder victim Jean McConville says he has handed over the names of those who abducted her to a third party. Michael McConville yesterday revealed he knows the identities of the terrorists who took her, but won't tell police for fear of reprisals. Mr McConville says should anything sinister happen to any member of his family, the names will be made public. A County Tyrone man accused of supplying the car used in the murder of a prison officer is to be granted bail. A judge said it was wrong for Damien McLaughlin to face a wait of up to two years before any trial takes place. The 37-year-old of Kilmascally Road in Ardbow denies a charge of preparation of a terrorist act. Mr Black was shot dead on the M1 in County Armagh in November 2012. The Ulster Bank has reported its first quarterly profit since 2009. The bank made a profit of £17 million in the first months, three months of this year. That compares to a loss of nearly £1 billion in the final quarter of last year. And finally, up to 1,700 pink road closed signs, which are being put up along the route of the Giro d'Italia, will be given to Oxfam shops following the race next weekend. The public will then be able to buy the signs for a small donation to Oxfam, which is the official charity for the Giro. Well, you can keep up to date by logging on to Q Lifestyle or by tuning in to Q Radio.